Hi everyone, it's Ingrid Janssen here from Organize Your House. Many thanks for watching this video and I'm going to chat all about wrapping paper and gift bags in this video. Now in my work as a professional organizer and declutterer, I find loads and loads of wrapping paper, but especially gift bags in my clients' houses. And I always suggest to go through them and they always say, oh, don't worry about it, it's not that much. But then when we gather it all together and we actually start working on the project, they're always amazed at how many gift bags and also how many rolls of wrapping paper there are in the house. Now, what I normally do is when I do this project, I say, let's gather everything together and let's go through it first. Now, what I normally do is I kind of divide into Christmas and non-Christmas because you will find kind of these kind of wine bags or bottle bags. And I always separate out the ones that are specifically for kind of the holiday period of the year and for the rest of the year. And the same I do with gift bags and things like that. First of all, declutter anything that is tatty, kind of rippled, falling apart, crumbled, not looking great, and not something that you will reuse again. Now, for me, reusing is not a problem at all. If somebody gives you a really nice gift bag and it's in really good condition, why not reuse it? It's absolutely fine. You might want to take the tag off that is on the gift bag, but that's all right. You can actually then use this perfectly to give away to somebody else. Now, if you've taken up, so for example, this is a perfect little one that is kind of like, it looks fine, but if you look up close, you can really see that it's damaged. So I'm going to declutter this and I'm going to actually take all of the little bits and bobs off that can't be recycled and the rest of the bag will go into the recycling bin. So I definitely want to do that. That's where you want to get started. Now, if you want to look at storage, I am all for keeping things simple. I have here a, um, an old gift bag, a, quite a nice large one that is a bit crumpled, a bit tatty, but it's a nice size. And it's an, actually an old Christmas one, as you can probably tell. And this is what I'm using to store my gift bags in. So I have one half of the bag is kind of my Christmas bags and my Christmas wine bags. And the other half is the normal wine bags and a normal gift bag. So I separate them out like that. And then I put them uh, with size together. So I've got the, the smaller ones in the front, the larger ones in the back. And it's really easy to rifle through. My wrapping paper, I actually have these plastic bags that the, the shop gave me and they're like a perfect size. So I've got three of those. Again, one with uh, two with birthdays and I separate it out a little bit so it's easier to find what kind of color or roll that I want. And one of them is full of Christmas paper. Now I know the really useful box company do a fantastic long plastic box, especially for wrapping paper. So if you want to go ahead and do that, that is absolutely fine. Um, and you can then store it safely and it probably won't get crumpled as much. So if you want to go that way, perfect too. If you want to store your gift bags as well, and not in another gift bag, bags within bags, but if you want to go and up it a little bit, maybe a plastic container with or without a lid can be really, really useful and have it all together that way. Now, if you have a massive amount of gift bags, do go ahead and donate them to the charity shop if they're still in good condition. If you would still give it away to somebody else, then you can definitely donate it to the charity. But if it's looking tatty and not really fit for purpose anymore, recycle it as much as you can. So those are my top tips. Last thing I want to mention, if you have a lot, a lot of times you have to wrap presents, etc. Why not put a pair of scissors and some sticky tape within your box or within your rolls of wrapping paper so you've got it all together so you don't have to hunt down for these items every time you have to wrap a present. So thanks for watching. I hope my video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. This is Ingrid Jansen from Organize Your House and see you next time.